Does the change of quarterback for them change anything that you might do? Yeah, it's really interesting because there's not a, a big sample size of, of who they are with him. And that's the, you know, I think with Ewers, he's a phenomenal player, but you know what you're getting, you know, and I don't know that we know what's going to come with Malik Murphy right now, you know, so it's, um, you know, that, that will unfold itself as it goes. I think they're going to run their offense and do what they do. I think he's very capable of doing everything that they do. You just don't know how, you know, how much uh, complexity, you know, they're going to put on some of that stuff. And so it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds. What led to their running success last season here? Well, they're really physical. I mean, they're extremely uh, physical and athletic up front, which is um, – Best in the league, in my opinion. Um, you know, of course, they had a couple of good tailbacks, too, to make that thing go, which which doesn't hurt. And then, and then the third part about it that, you know, people talk about the players and stuff, and that's absolutely accurate, but the schem- schematics are good, too. I mean, they don't put themselves in, in situations where they're running into situations they shouldn't be running into. I think they really know what they're doing there, and, and um, you know, they, they do a good job of digging in your history and seeing what's hurt you and coming back and trying and see if you get it fixed. And so I, I think that... Uh, combination of all those things makes them a really good running team. What do you see from the Brooks? Um, <clears throat> I mean, just a talented, talented group of, of, of guys are all, all the way around. I, I think um, not that far off from what they had last year, you know, and uh, physical runner, um, really um, patient in his runs. Uh, I think he does a good job in pass pro. I think he catches the ball well, you know, concerned about – him in the slip screen game and some of that stuff. And, and uh, I mean, he's just a, he's as good of, of a back as we'll see. The, they have struggled in the red zone. What, when you watch them, you know, what, what do you see going on? I don't know. I, I think sometimes that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some, that is not anything that they're doing. I think they, they um, are as schematically diverse down there as, as anybody. And I, I can't answer that. I think they, uh, um, you know, a couple, a couple of good breaks. You know, a couple of passes that were inches away. You know, a drop ball here or there. It makes a big difference, and that's, um, you know, they've been on the wrong end of that. Like to keep them there if we can. <laughs> There's got to be mentality comes along with your red zone touchdown percentage defense in, in there. Yeah, uh, it's funny you say that. We got the we got the stop <clears throat> last week. It was sudden change. Um, you know, I can't remember what happened. We turned the ball over, and, and the ball was in their territory. And I don't know what yard line it was on. I think it was thirty something. But you know, we ended up getting the stop there on on four downs, and they missed the field goal. And and uh, you know, the first thing that I think it was uh, uh, Austin Moore and, and Des Pernell were asking what yard line they were on because they wanted to know if they were in the red zone or not. Um, so our guys definitely have that in the back of their heads. You know, as a as a uh, something that they're prideful of, you know. I don't think that it changes changes our approach to any play or anything or any call that we do. It's just, uh, you know, we're hopefully treating every play the same, whether in the red zone or not. Kobe Savage, uh, you know, Paris, Texas, and he goes to Tyler Junior College. He's going to be going against all these different Texas teams right now. You notice maybe a chip on his shoulder right now. Yeah, I probably got a few guys like that that are, uh, you know, we're not. Uh, heavily recruited that are from Texas or from that area. And, and uh, I don't think that's much different from us week to week. You know, I think sometimes we're, we're, we're dealing with guys that maybe didn't have the Oklahoma State offer or the, you know, whomever it is that we're playing offer. And, you know, I think it's probably the same. You know, and I think it probably is a little bit more special for a Texas kid, though, you bet. You guys are playing on a streak like you are right now, 41-0, 41-3. How much confidence is the defense bringing out there to the field? Yeah, I don't know. I, you, you know, you watch us on Monday. I don't think it's different than any Monday that we've had. You know, you watch us on Wednesday. I don't think it's any different. You know, we just – I don't know. I mean, I, I hope that our guys are confident. I would hope that in the beginning. I think that, you know, you bet there's something to doing it, actually. Um, but I think our guys have always had that inner confidence that uh, that they can do the things that we're asking them to do. And, and you know, it's just a matter of going out there and doing it. Out of all the corners, Keenan Garber had the most snaps last week. Is he just ascending at a rapid rate? He's doing a great job. Yeah, Keenan's doing a great job. I was uh, been really, really pleased with him. I think he's a big part of that. You know, Jacob Parrish has been really solid on the one uh, edge, and and um, you know we've had Will Lee in there. We've had uh, a variety of guys in there, and and Keenan's been in that role now for the past three games, and I think he's doing a phenomenal job. He's a really athletic kid, great ball skills. And I think just the more experience he gets, the better he gets. I was happy to see Will kind of have a, a game where he got back to it a little bit too. You know, I'm, I'm pleased with where the corners are at right now. With him, are 
are you tempted to maybe throw him out there a little bit more to kind of match up their length? Well, no, I, 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 we don't think about it that much, I guess, in that in those terms. Um, not this week in, in particular. I, I think we just try to roll those guys. Um, I think all those guys are going to get a significant amount of snaps. You know, Jacob will get the lion's share of them, but um, we're going to do whatever we can do to keep him fresh. And, and um, you know, we feel comfortable with certainly those three. And it really goes probably a little deeper than that. I think we feel okay about Justice James, Jordan Wright uh, also in that group. So um, we'll, we'll feel pretty good. We'll get some of those guys in some of the third down stuff and do some different things that way. But um, you know that's 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 where we're at with that room. It's a good spot right now. As a coaching staff, when you're on a losing streak to one team in particular, like you are with Texas right now, do you ever have to, I don't know, reevaluate things and say let's take a slightly different approach here? Yeah, it just seems like when we've played these guys, and I don't know that it's true, but it, it's it, we've had some good games down there in Austin, but it seems like we've always been playing catch up a little bit. You know, it just seems like, um, you know, last year we dug ourselves a hole that we couldn't get out of. Um, you know, a couple of years ago down there, it was an odd time because I know they had some quarterback injuries and they kind of went total rogue on us and did about 20 snaps of Wildcat and just did a, did some things that, you know, I felt like we were playing catch up that day a little bit too. And, um, you know, it, it's just we, we've got to get out of the gate early and we've got to get playing uh, early, get some confidence going early, get some stops. Um, hopefully we're moving the ball on the other end and, you know, make it a, make it a four-quarter game. Another Kobe question. Uh, you know, it comes off the injury. He switches possessions to the jack. He's near the top of tackles. He's got two INTs this season. He's got leadership. What's impressed you most about him this year? You know, the, the savagery, no pun intended, with how he came back from his injury, uh, I've not seen anybody do that. You know, just the, the, the work and the determination that he had um, almost the refusal to acknowledge that he had an injury, you know, in the summertime. And, in the, in, you know, he, he just was um, – you wouldn't know it right now, the way he's moving around and stuff. And, and uh, I, I'm just – I'll forever remember that. I just – I don't know if I've ever seen anybody attack it the way he's attacked it. And so any, any bit of success, any accolade he gets – Boy, he deserves it maybe more than anybody. You know, he's just kind of an unsung guy that goes about his business, but is rock solid for us every Saturday. And and man, I'm I'm so proud of him.